Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Alpod King Carter here. Today is day one of NBA 2K24. On day zero, we streamed in New Zealand, but today I'm finally back home. I'm in the US and it's time to actually talk about the top five things that you want to do booting up NBA 2K24. Now, this is mainly for content creators, but this will also help the NBA 2K gamer as well because there's a couple things that you might need to know about NBA 2K24. Let's get into the video. Of course, you want to make sure that you have enough space to install NBA 2K24 simply because this is one of the biggest games I've ever seen in my life. This game is 173 gigs on my PlayStation 5. I need an extended hard drive immediately or I need PlayStation to come out with a four terabyte or eight terabyte PlayStation because this is getting ridiculous. All right, second huge tip here. You wanna make sure that you guys download the My NBA 2K companion app. It is the newest app for NBA 2K. They've taken off the digits and they're only going with one standard companion app. So for all my people out there that like to scan their face, you know possibly get their beard in the game and things of that nature make sure that y'all guys download this app immediately plus when you log in it's an easy way to upload locker codes and stuff like that to you know win giveaways and things of that nature as well as you of course scan your face and you track your vc all right so make sure that you do that because it's cross play now you want to make sure that you're on there when you're getting firm requests it's, it's a lot so just make sure that you guys got the app to all my content creators out there, there are a few things that you're gonna wanna do as soon as you boot up NBA 2K24 for the first time. If you're into recording or streaming, it is, I, I mean, literally the biggest priority to make sure that you turn off copyright and music so that if you want to earn money for your videos on YouTube and earn money on your streams on Twitch without getting DMCA'd all over the place, you wanna come down and change a couple settings. So you wanna make sure that you guys go down to features, you go into the first settings portion of the game, you scroll all the way down to sound settings and make sure that you turn off PA volume, 2K beats music, and 2K main music as well because you don't want any audio to compromise your content. The next thing that you wanna do is come down to 2K beats and you want to go inside of 2K beats and make sure that you unequip all songs as a security precaution to all my content creators out there to all of my shooters out there there are a couple new things about nba 2k24 that you guys need to understand as well as all my people that love laying the ball up dunking all of that make sure that you guys come into controller settings once in controller settings the first thing you want to do is turn off all the vibration features all the trigger effect features this is not a fps this is not a first person shooter of course so you don't need your controller vibrating letting you know that somebody's bumping you you can see that on screen the next thing that you guys want to do is come down to shot timing visual cue this is a new system they no longer call it very early early late and very late they now call it push release jump and set point now let's just think about it like this jump would be something like very early um set point would be something like early push would be something like late and of course release would be something like very late now me of course i have always played on late since it has come out so i chose push as my release point for my shot timing uh visual cue now as far as the jump shot meter i know i never play with one it's not it's not what i do i find a jump shot that i like and i go shoot with it at least 60 to 100 times before i go in online I've chosen JT Thor. We'll talk about that more in another video, but you can keep your jump shot timing meter on if you would like, but you get a boost percentage of 20% if you keep it off, all right? Now, let's go ahead and hop into my career. Psych I lied. Let's talk about the layup meter for a moment. Please try the layup meter. I know that you guys are probably like, oh, I don't wanna do that. Think about it like this for all my dunkers out there. You already want to use the dunk meter to dunk on individuals. So you might as well keep on the layup meter so that you can get both sides of finishings timing. Plus, if you have the layup meter on, you get a boost for your layup uh, make percentage. All right. So if you want a big, huge green window, keep that layup meter on. OK, now let's scroll all the way down. Right. For all of my defenders out there, let's talk about the Huda guard. This has been something that has been in the game for quite a while now. Who to guard is something that a lot of people say it doesn't work, some people says it does work. This is what I'll tell you. If you turn off who to guard, 
your player won't be looking at his event defender while trying to look in the lanes if you're a person that sits in a corner for lane steals if you're somebody who's trying to pick up ball this is what you want to do you want to tap r1 or rb and press the icon of the individual that you want to guard and your arrow or your awareness sense will lock on to the player that you choose okay so i have who to guard off my defensive assist strength is at 15 because i'm a lock i need to be able to move around i need more control of my player assistance is like when you aim assist on call of duty or or apex it moves the thing for you a little bit to help you out in 2k it doesn't work like that it kind of pulls you away from certain situations that you're in and you know when you want certain outcomes all right box out assist strength i don't need it i'm on a break see you later pass target profile i have mine on openness simply because if i'm playing rec i'm only throwing it back up top from the corner or i'm throwing it on a fast break and if i'm on threes i'm only throwing it to one you know either a player in the corner or a player in the paint or if i'm playing twos it's only one person i'm playing i'm throwing it to so openness is always going to Help that individual get open when I pass them the ball, all right? Now, let's go ahead and finally hop into my career. When booting up NBA 2K24 is my career, you want to make sure that you guys create a 60 overall build and go inside the city, you know, watch the first cut scene or whatever the case may be. And to all my creators out there, do not watch this cut scene live while on YouTube because it will copyright your video. All right, there's a specific song that plays during the intro of the city and you cannot skip it. All right, so make sure you either turn all of the volume off or you hide the, the source or you just don't stream it. Now, again, once you create your build for 60 overall, you go inside and you check out all of the animations that you love, that you love to see, that you wanna try out and you check those baselines for those animations and make sure when you come to create your build that your build has those set uh, requirements for attributes as well as requirements for certain badges. So for instance, if you need an 85 jump shot for a certain jumper, then you choose 85. But if there's a badge that need 86, choose 86 because you get both of them. So it's basically two birds with one stone. All right, you just go ahead and bump it up to one more. You get the badge and you get your jump shot requirement for whatever jump shot you want. Same thing with layups. If there is a layup out there that wants an 88 layup, but there's a badge that wants an 89 layup, go to 89, get two for one. All right, now let's go ahead and go inside of my career so I can tell you guys more about this once you're in the city trust me there's going to be a lot to do there's going to be a lot of pop-ups but the first thing that you guys want to do is if you're a my career player go play my career if you're a park player go figure out if you want to join the elite or the rise if you don't care about affiliations and you don't care about the rep grind go to start in five or go to the wreck you'll have fun regardless um one huge thing for me was trying to find out how to get my 10 wins and 100 points and things are coming along pretty well but i wanted to stop and make a video for you guys of course now um one thing you guys might want to know is what my build looks like this is what my build looks like fresh out this is what i have as an 88 overall i'll show you what my build looks like as its potential in a moment but Remember when we talked about the controller settings for the main menu, you want to make sure that those same controller settings are set up within my career as well. Even though you set them at the home screen, they may not transfer over in time. So make sure you come into the city, go to your controller settings and make sure that you have those settings on. All right. Everything that I had inside the main menu should be set up for here. The next thing that you guys want to do progression. You want to make sure when you are looking at your build and you're looking at the potential, the first thing I would say at any start of any video game for 2K, always go and max out your physicals. That's what I did. I maxed out my physicals immediately and I am a dog out there. You always wanna make sure that you have a physical advantage over players that are just getting the game because most of them only upgrade playmaking and shooting. And a lot of them don't upgrade their defense. A lot of them don't upgrade their physicals. Like right now, I have a 25 layup, but I dunk on everybody. And I also make some layups too. So make sure that you guys definitely check out your build and upgrade things the right way. And also, I understand completely. I have a ton of VC. I have no space to talk. VC is very 
very expensive this year super expensive to the point where when i purchased my vc pack it stung it stung so if you are somebody that is trying to get the 99 overall grind i'm gonna tell you right now i've been on the game for five and a half to six hours and i am an 88 overall you saw my record i am nine and oh in the uh park i am i think five and oh in a wreck i'm only an 88 overall you do not have to spend 75 100 150 dollars day one of nba 2k24 you do not have to grind out your bill see how you like it once you get the 85 the cost let's talk about cost for a moment because this is another top thing that you may want to know about nba 2k24 in order for me to get up to an 85 overall it cost me 189,000 vc and for every level that i had to go up which was 86 87 and now 88 it cost me roughly 13,760 vc per level so for all my math nerds out there or anybody who has a calculator on them right now go ahead and do that math and let me know how much you think it will cost for me to get to 99 overall because one huge thing that you guys see the only thing that i have left that is of any of importance is my mid-range and my steel everything else is about in the 50s to 60s that they can max out at so this build shouldn't be 400 to 500 thousand vc to upgrade the 99 overall if i did the math right and if you did too so let me know what you guys think about that now the last tip that i have for you guys for all of my nba 2k 24 my career players that just want to play to my career experience enjoy it please enjoy it you know go through the cutscenes, have a lot of fun for everybody that wants to play park rec and you know coming soon theater the starting five and things of that nature make sure that you guys head to the gatorade facility work on your physique work on your boosts and and please have fun trying to join elite or rise all right um before i get up out of here uh i know a lot of people are probably going to ask me what are my animations um these are my animations i'm holding my hands up these are my animations this is all that i have i am a a, a two-way spot up uh level threat or threat or something like i don't know i lock stuff up but this is what i have set up man and um i appreciate y'all for coming through to this video this is your boy ikc signing out i don't want to hold you guys up too much longer make sure that you guys hit the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or if you haven't subscribed yet and i will see y'all in the next one man peace King Kong, King Kong, King Kong, Abba, King Kong, King Kong, King Kong, Abba, King Kong, King Kong, King Kong.